Hello everyone, welcome to SK Facts. Uh, this video is a special video where many people asked me to do my uh, contacts, SK Facts contacts. Normally I don't want to do these kind of videos because they are a little sensitive and uh, it may hurt many people or it may okay, support many people. But let's see, my view I'm just trying to say, I'm not commenting anyone, I'm not speaking against any company policies and all, okay? It's just purely my view, okay? So first, somewhere, one or two months back, uh, Infosys Narayan Murtigaru, okay, the founder of uh, Infosys, he just told one statement like, youngsters should work 70 hours per week. Okay, that time it was a kind of uh, a hard statement. Many people, uh, even in uh, social media, also uh, put a lot of comments against him, but he made it, okay, 70 hours, okay. In a week of time, 70 hours, we need to focus, and he given for youngsters, okay? So, uh, I will see the pros and cons of it, okay? We will discuss the pros and cons of it, okay? But uh, here, Infosys leader given the statement, first, first point, okay? Then, last week, we have the similar kind of uh, statement from LNT uh, CEO, he is SN Subramanian, sir, okay? So, he said, okay? Uh, he put it in a different way, okay, spending time with family and our work-life balance, but he said 90 hours, you don't, he, if he don't have a choice uh, to make the employees to work on Sundays, if he have any choice, he will make the employees work on Sunday also, you don't want to leave Sunday also. Okay, so that is the kind of meaning he just pronounced, okay, based on my understanding, okay. So even now, from last one week, this is a very hot topic in the entire social media. Okay, especially in IT side of people who are like, now IT means, okay, uh, the first thing, Nirmala Sita Raman Garu, okay, uh, hot topic always because a lot of taxes only for, okay, uh, only for the people who earn very genuinely pay the tax, okay, who don't speak anything, who don't have any unions and all to do fight against the government, okay, getting a lot of taxes from them, so people will obviously, uh, comment on, uh, okay, Nirmala Sita Raman Garu, okay, that is one one point everyone will speak, okay. And second one is one month back or two months back, uh, Infosys uh, chairman, sir, and third now from last one week, okay, LNT CEO, right, this is also against, okay. Now from this statement, one point is LNT CEO told this statement, second thing. First thing is Infosys, okay, CEO told it and now LNT, okay. Chairman told it, 70 hours and 90 hours, okay. So now, earlier, maybe just two days back, there was a nice interview by Anand Mahindra sir, okay. I think to a, to a channel, CN18 something in the channel, okay. So he said, some that the anchor asked the question, sir, uh, what is your opinion on these timings, okay. Uh, then he said, uh, he said in a nice manner, okay. So he said, for me, Okay, number of hours not matter, but quality of hours matters, okay. Then uh, he also given a family kind of jokey way of telling it, like I want to, okay, spend my time with my family, something, wife and all, right. And that is also one more big thing is circulating in uh, social media now, okay. <laughs> Good, so three things. Now I will take from here is Mahindra company CEO or Mahindra company leader told this statement. So three company leaders told three different statements, 70 hours per week, 90 hours per week, and, okay, num number of hours doesn't matter, but quality of life of employee, quality of work that employee produces is the matter, okay. So, being a leaders, okay, entrepreneurs, entrepreneur have their own mindset, okay, and workers have a own mindset. Entrepreneurs always see the, okay, results in the form of money. For them, it's purely business. Turnover, net income, gross income, okay, share, capex, so many things. Spending, lose, gain, market, adopting, correct? LNT adopted micro, micro, mindry, business expanded. For them, they are like business owners, not like, Okay, employees where they work for 50,000 per a month or okay, 4 lakhs per annum, something like that, right? So, when leader speaks like this, okay, 
maybe out of 1000 people leaders will be five or six people but 900 995 people or 94 people will be employees so how it affects on the employee mindset right so this is what i would like to cover here first mainly okay so being an employee of a organization okay what is the mindset that i get it when my leader speaks okay so if I belong to any of these companies, so I may feel like, okay, my leader asked, could, proposing like 70 hours of work is needed. My leader is proposing for 90 hours of work is needed. Okay, no Sundays. And my leader is proposing a quality work and have a nice, okay, balanced life. Automatically, the mindset goes in a positive and very negative way towards the organization. If I have three offers, from these three companies are better by choosing the statement itself i will obviously choose the company where i like the statement first thing okay second thing right when they say this way okay let's say i'm an employee okay and my leader is proposing for okay 90 hours of work okay what an employee will get from 90 hours of work that is the main thing Think from employee point of view, okay. The so-called companies are very conjured to pay the salaries. Even for experienced people also, they don't give nice salaries for according to the standards, market standards. For freshers, if you see the freshers, non-IT freshers, they will give 2.5 lakhs per annum. For technical freshers like B-Tech, M-Tech and all, they will give 3 to 3.5, maximum 4.5, maximum 5. So 5 lakhs per annum, if we get it, Per a month, how a company employee will get it after everything? He will get maybe 35 lakhs or 40, 35,000 or 45,000 or 50,000. Per month, he will get 50,000. So 50,000 salary employee, how we expect him to work for 90 hours per a week? First thing. Okay, second thing. Before you give this kind of statements, why can't we do a kind of, okay, a small business calculation? Let's say business is business, correct? So we expect 90 hours of job from an employee. So on an average, every IT company employee works for 40 to 45 hours per week. This is how we work, okay? Five days work. We, according to, okay, government rules, eight hours, but it becomes nine hours, one hour extra leisure, okay? Uh, food, gear and all, breaks and all. So nine hours per day, okay? and five days per week means 40 to 45 hours, 50 hours, let's say maximum 50 hours. This is how 50 hours employee work. Accordingly, he is getting for 50 hours, okay? So per month, he will get 50,000, let's say like this. Okay, now if we ask to work for 90 hours per week, then obviously he should get 90,000 or 85,000. Is my calculation correct? A deal is a deal, correct? No one speaks about it. So we don't increase the scale of salary. We don't increase the uh, extra allowances or something to accommodate the hours. We don't speak anything according to that. But we just say, give 35,000, even 50,000 is, I kept it very high. If you just see the, okay, fresher salary from these so-called companies, Okay, they get 25,000, 35,000 also per a month, 30,000 per a month also. I have one student who pinged me when I asked the question. Sir, they given 2.5 while joining. After two years, now the salary is 3.2. Correct? So 3.2 for two and a half years of experienced person, how much you will get per a month? So if the company asks to work for 70 hours or 90 hours, first of all, you will leave the IT and then go. So before giving the statement, it should give in a respectful manner. Good. So first thing. Then second thing is, if you don't, maybe this, see, from if you see from money point of view, this calculation looks like this. But maybe, okay, uh, younger generation should work more. Means maybe to grab the opportunities to have a better life, okay, to adopt the IT term technology. Okay. Maybe if you see that way, First of all, 
see from employment point of view, employee point of view, they are not entrepreneurs to calculate all the business turnovers and all. Why they will work for 90 hours? What is their deal? What is their... If we do extra business, we get extra money. If we adopt a company, we get extra benefits from that company or extra money from that company. This is the business. If you work more, 50 hours to 90 hours, what they should get extra? Why, why they need to work extra? If we can accommodate it and then give statement, yes. First, I request, improve your standards of salaries giving, then give these kind of statements. I'm very, maybe I am not eligible to speak this kind of way, but I'm speaking kind of to support the employees, okay, here, first thing. Now, okay, so see, I work for 90 hours per month. Okay, so if I work for 90 hours per month, means I should get that much of amount also, right? So if we see the example, sir, LNT, CEO, was sir, salary for last year, how much? How much salary he got it for last year? 51 crores. If you get 51 crores, not 90 hours, people are ready to work for 180 hours also per week. It's true, correct? So it looks like that only. Business is business, right? So when we see these kind of things, it really impacts the mindset of the employee and they will start getting scared, right? Working for eight hours, nine hours also, it is too heavy. We see in few instances where okay, employees are getting suicide and then, right, they got suicide because of the work tension and all two people died. So if we see these kind of statements, it causes a lot of disturbance in their mindset, first thing. Correct? And second thing is the reputation will go, the company reputation. We have n number of companies offering jobs. If we have multiple other choices of offers, where obviously people will not join to these kind of companies. And even they join to these kind of companies also, they don't stay long. Correct? And there is a story that we have it like, I have a nice donkey. I purchased a nice donkey. It is a very healthiest donkey. Right? And it is serving a lot. Right? So what I am doing is, it is serving a lot, it is very healthy. So instead of putting 10 cages, I am putting, okay, maybe 20 cages, 30 cages. It is, okay, it is doing job, okay, 30 cages, okay. Instead of five hours, I'm making the donkey to work for 10 hours. After one hour, one month, the donkey died. Okay, if the donkey dies, then what the respective owner will do? The owner will go and buy a new donkey. That's it, because there are so many donkeys available, and he have money to buy. If we see from this way, statements way, okay, this is how it looks like. But if we see from donkey side, the life gone. Right? So, maybe I request everyone, okay, maybe the statement should be taken in a, okay, kind of way where we don't affect, okay, there are policies in, com in, in any country where they have uh, some norms to have eight hours, nine hours, Okay, even though these kind of statements comes also, governments will not agree. Okay, so f fine. This is what I want to conclude. Okay, no need to panic or something, but just want to put my words here. Okay, on these kind of statements because it is a very hard topic nowadays. Okay, so this is what my view is. Okay, thank you.